So hello and welcome friend, my name is Anka and this feels really weird. <laughs> Uh, I haven't been making a voiceover for quite some time now, so I don't know if I can do it, but we'll see. So, a uh, few things first. I'm really sorry for abandoning the channel, but it's been a, a rough month and uh, yeah, life comes first. I will not abandon YouTube, but I kind of fell a little bit out of love with it. I haven't really had time to watch videos either, so I'm a little bit out of <laughs> out of the loop and yeah, I don't know. It's it's been weird, but I I do want to get back to it cuz I've mentioned this before, but I I'm men mentioning it again. I do really love making videos, so I hope to rekindle the love for it. So keep your fingers crossed and hopefully it will be kind of easier at least for a little while uh, for me to make videos at least because my daughter has actually started preschool or daycare whatever you want to call it I actually don't know what the right term is in English because um, they changed the name since I was a kid for the organization thing so it's a little bit confusing, but for simplicity's sakes, I'm going to say daycare. But yeah, she started there two weeks ago, I think. And uh, yeah, it's, it has been going fine. She seems to like it and uh, she seems to get along well with the other kids. So that's really fun. Uh, but of course she brought home the germs, so we have been sick and uh, finally are feeling better, so that's always good. So, what more do I say? Uh, well, I... <laughs> uh, I have been drawing and uh, up till uh, last week I have posted every day on Instagram. I The secret for that is... Uh, I didn't actually f finish everyone on that day. Some days I actually have time to make multiples, so that leaves me time to, for the days where there's no time to actually create something, to still post something. Yeah, so that's been helpful. And also really helpful has been sketching out a lot of sketches on the ACOs beforehand. That really has helped me a lot, I think, to keep it going. And to take this uh, card, for example, I had just sketched out the uh, monster face uh, in the beginning I and left it like that. And uh, then when it came time to actually start coloring, I looked at it again with fresh eyes and trying to think of new ideas to make a story out of it. And I, I did struggle a little bit with this one because I didn't really know where I wanted to go with it. I didn't know what kind of paper or book or whatever he was looking at. And uh, my dear friend uh, Michaela uh, suggested that he would have some kind of creature on his head uh, trying to peer at whatever he was uh, looking at. And for some reason I kind of made a little dragon creature and uh, I didn't really know what I would want to do with the background because sometimes backgrounds is the hardest part and I've, I've been trying really hard to actually make backgrounds so that they are not empty. Some days I do cheat a little bit and just make some kind of gradient or um, simple, more simple things but when I can, I try to make some kind of um, background to put them in a setting uh, or a little scene. And uh, yeah, for this one, I was think thinking about a bottle and it would make sense for him to have uh, reading a message from a bottle. Uh, so it became a message in a bottle and I added the cork uh, in his hand uh, so that makes a little scene 
Um, and because I made a message in a bottle, uh, it made sense to do some kind of beach or ocean thing, and so that's what I went with. But I didn't really know what I wanted to color him as. The drawing was kind of simple, I didn't want to make him green, so I'm not saying that you have to do them green or red or whatever, you can do whatever you want, of course. Um, uh, I think that's so great about art, you can color whatever you want. But for this one I wanted him to be red, so that's what I went with. But the main monster was a little bit harder, but my partner or my boyfriend or whatever you want to call him uh, did suggest that I do kind of a yeti, because I had previously done a yeti that I really liked, so I, uh, I, I did end up making him a yeti, and I thought it would be a little bit... It adds to the story. How did a yeti end up on a beach reading a message in a bottle? Uh, so I, I guess that's a part of the storytelling of this particular card. I don't have the answer. You have to think of a story of your own. Because, uh, yeah. So, and I did... <laughs> the mo Yeah, I did color... The entire card uh, with Copic markers. I do believe I used the uh, Dale Rowney heavyweight, smooth heavyweight uh, paper for this one. It has a slight ivory uh, color to it, and um, yeah, I, I really like it. Right now, I'm using three types of paper to do my Copic uh, ACOs on, and um, I use either the Canson 1557 uh, paper, the Dale and Brownie Bristol Board airbrush thing, <laughs> and the uh, smooth heavyweight paper. And they behave a little bit different, all three. And, uh, and I recently bought the wall, it's a, brand, a new kind of paper from Canson. Uh, which I am excited to try because apparently you can draw on both sides of it with markers. So just for that reason alone, I'm a little bit curious. I don't know how, yeah, how useful that will be for me, but um, yeah, it's. I will try it and see. Maybe even do a kind of a review if you want. So I did kind of just ramble the hell out of this. I don't know where I was going. Uh, but I am sorry that I've been away. Uh, but if you want to keep up with um, what I'm doing and all that, uh, Instagram is the best place to do that still. Uh, I am not very active by uh, answering comments and such because I'm a little bit overwhelmed still with everything. So please... Uh, be patient with me and a little bit longer hopefully I can find some kind of routine but I, I guess it's kind of difficult when you have a toddler to kind of find one and keep it for a longer time but that's the beauty of them so uh, what more to tell you I probably f forgot to mention a lot of things and I probably don't make sense but I am working on something really exciting uh, that I can't wait to show you, but it's taking me a little while to get to that. And I also have uh, videos that I can edit, but I haven't gotten, gotten around to it yet, so I hope to get to that soon. Uh, and as I mentioned, I do have two days a week from now on uh, a few hours those two days to work on things for myself, so that will be nice. The difficulty is that there's a lot of things that I need to do during those time frames, so I need to be as efficient as possible <laughs> if I can, so we'll see how that works. Yeah, I think that's pretty much 
all I can say. I hope you enjoyed this video and um, if you did, thumbs up. So thank you very much for watching. Hey don't!